Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading for the end of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Capricorn, this has to be an actual connection you believe you have with somebody, whether you're together or not, that is okay, but you have to at least know each other and believe there is a connection there. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, if you have Capricorn in any of those placements. So we'll see what's going on for you at this time. And I do say um, at this time, because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, um, links to your past readings playlist are down below in the description box. Uh, general and love, as well as decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading, if you'd like to send a gift or tip or donate. All that information is below. So welcome in Capricorn. Hope everybody's doing well. So this is Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. So if you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. Whatever comes out here. As always, only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. If you feel like it's not for you, then it's probably not your reading. So please don't try to make it fit if it's not making sense for you. May not uh, be your reading this time, but hold out for the next one. All right, so, wow, that's way too many. Okay, this one. Let's see what we have. We have air. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Or air is all about having mental clarity. It's open, honest, truthful communication. It's ideas. It's everything to do with the mind. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. Okay, air. So the first thing I'm going to do here, Capricorn, is um, get sort of like a love energy, connection energy between you, your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. Let's see. Let's get an overall energy, opening energy for the connection for Capricorn. And I just did see the um, lover's card, so that's a good sign. So... Okay, on this one. Release. So this is death. So this is about something ending, releasing something, letting it end, so that there can be transformation, healing, moving on, a new beginning, rebirth, regrowth. So something releasing here, 13. Okay, so let's see what's going on. So first thing I'm going to do, Capricorn, is I'm going to say this is you and this is your person. I'm going to pull one for you, one for them. Okay. So I feel like here and here. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> so if you feel at any time that the other side is you and this side is your person, please switch, flip, flop the energies as you see fit any time during this reading. So for you here, we do have the seven of cups energy it can be about daydreams, illusions, decisions, options, kind of energy. Trying to make a choice here to release something. And then your um, person here has confront 18, which I believe is I believe that is the devil. So let me just double check on that. So it's this deck is just a little bit different. I believe that is the devil energy. Oh, it's the moon. Yeah, because the moon is there. Okay. So the moon can be about secrets. It can be about um, not seeing the path clearly. It can be about daydreams, illusions, uh, intuition kind of energy. I'm getting the energy of maybe your person had secrets and now you're trying to make a decision Something may, may have come to light with these uh, secrets, and now you're trying to make a decision whether or not to release this person. You know, having that open, uh, honest communication with them, being very upfront and honest. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, Two of Swords. So being a little indecisive here with the Two of Swords, not sure what to do. Do I release this person? Do I let them go? Um... Kind of energy they could be they could have been doing something secretly also but you know maybe you found out about it so now you're like okay do i release this person or can we heal and transform this you know maybe you're telling them to end or release whatever they're doing here doesn't necessarily have to be like another person 
can be addictions, obsessions, um, something that they need to end. Or maybe they're trying to confront this and end it if it's addictions or obsessions or something like that or negative thinking or um, something that they're trying to confront and release. So, I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Capricorn, what is going on here? So, I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those have reached out for personal reading. Those have tipped, donated, sent a gift. Thank you, thank you. All your support really does mean a lot to me. So, I just want to say thank you, thank you. Big thank you to everybody. Let's see what's going on here for you, Capricorn. What is all this energy about? You Capricorns. So what is this decisions about? Daydreams, options, confusion, illusions kind of energy for you? You could be listening to your intuition because you see this person is kind of like in a meditative state. And seven is usually a very spiritual number. So you could be you know, trying to make a decision and really uh, listening to your intuition about this. All right. So why do we have daydreams and decisions here? Yeah, four of cups, feeling bored, complacent, blah. With this whole situation, it's like you're done with it. You're bored with it already. It's like, you know, I'm just ready to release this. I'm just done with this already. Yeah. Seven of cups kind of energy. Seven of cups on the seven of cups. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. So double confirmation there of, yeah, this person, you might have found out this person had somebody else because we see this person thinking about a couple here in the shadows so or maybe you had the other person somebody here had somebody else because they were bored in the relationship instead of releasing this person confronting them telling the truth and making that decision somebody here went off and uh, had somebody else whether it was you or them but secrets came to light. Either your person did or your person found out about maybe if you had another person. But I feel like an honest conversation needs to be had because we do have that air energy there. So there's a need to release something here, whether it's each other. Uh, I don't know. So let's see what this confront is here. And maybe you had options. Maybe you knew you had admirers. You had options and... You know, and you're like thinking, contemplating about these options. Like, hmm, I have options. I'm bored and complacent anyway. And maybe you took one of those options or your person did. I mean, however this resonated for you. Six of Pentacles. So this is a very balanced energy. Oh, so, all right. So what else? What else here for your person? Queen of Pentacles energy here. So I feel like this person that was very stable, maybe they're just uh, focused on their career and money and getting ahead and that kind of energy, making sure, you know, everything is balanced in that energy. Maybe this, you know, person here was just very, very focused on work, 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 work. King or queen doesn't matter. And you're like bored. It's like this person's always away. They're always working. They're always at work. Or they had somebody else at work. Oh, okay. Maybe you kind of knew that. They were not only giving to you. They were giving to somebody else. In their work environment, perhaps. And somebody found out about it here. Seven of Swords, yeah, there's that sneaky, tricky, lying, deceitful kind of energy. But it's on your side. So you either found out about this trickery or you were the one that had somebody on the side. So however it resonates for you. But we got the moon here. Here's the moon. The moon over here is not totally full, but now it's full. So now everything's come to light now. Two of Wands, so needing to make decisions about the future. What do we do about this? So... Plans and decisions for the future. Needing to make those plans. But over here is refusing to see. Need to make these plans. What do we do now? Move, moving forward. Do we re release this? Kind of energy. The hermit. 
So yeah, I feel like you're, you're not talking to each other. You could have like separated or you could have like, you kind of like live together, but you're not together kind of energy, or you just don't talk to each other with the hermit energy. But that also is doing introspective work. That's thinking, contemplating, healing, um, you know, finding your way, your light. Oh, there goes the, yeah, <laughs> Prince of Swords energy. So this is the page, um, page of swords. So yeah, definitely you could be spying on, maybe somebody was spying here. Maybe this person, somebody caught somebody at work with another person because they followed them, they spied on them, they went to their work without them knowing, peeked in the windows and saw some activity going on. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. So let's see. So now we have the Princess of Swords. Okay, the Prince of Swords is the knight, and the princess is the page. So I feel like this Prince of Swords, I'm still getting the energy of, because the Princess of Swords can be somebody who's spying on somebody or something like that, but it's also about honest communication. So I, and then the Prince of Swords kind of rushes in, takes action. I feel like this person took action and felt like they had to go spy on the other person in their work environment. And they found out the true secret here of somebody was, they saw through the window here in the shadows, somebody was having a fling with somebody else because they were bored in their home life. But now it's like the other person's like, I don't know what to do with this now. The two of wands, what do I do? I need to make plans, decisions now for the future. I, I seen it with the moon energy and the full moon, I seen it. And now I just don't know what to do. So it may have caused you or your person to withdraw, withdraw, withdrawing from each other with the hermit energy. Or you could be like lying to yourself and refusing to see it and just, you know, continue living in the same energy and just not acknowledging it, even though you've seen it with your own eyes. But a dis definite decision or plan needs to be made here. You or them. I mean, this is your side. So, I mean, they could have caught you. But like I said, if you feel like the energies are switched, then vice versa. However, here. Oh, boy. So, let's see. Is this the end with uh, death here? Is this the end of this? Do we release it? Do we move on? All right. So, what is the advice for this situation? Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, waiting. People are waiting and not making any moves. Seven of Pentacles is, you know, assessing the whole situation. Just assessing. So the advice here is to assess the situation. Wait. But we do have the Ten of Cups here. So, oh boy. So let's get a couple more. Why is the Ten of Cups here? And the Two of Cups, Soulmate Union. In the Six of Wands, success and victory here. So if this is you, you need to assess the situation and determine, determine who will you have your Ten of Cups with? Who will you have the most fulfillment with? Who is your true soulmate with the Two of Cups energy? Who will you be passionate and victorious and successful with? Is it the person you're with now? Or is this new person. I feel like it may be you. I don't know here. Or this is telling you if it's your person that's gone through this, um, you're assessing, okay, do I stay with them? Will I be fulfilled with the Ten of Cups? You know, can we have the soulmate union again? Can we heal and transform out of this if this other person is released out of this energy? Can this be victorious and successful and passionate once again? Like the Two of Cups, like Kind of like the lovers here. So somebody needs to make a decision on, after assessing, who is their true Ten of Cups? Who is their true Ten of Cups? Who is their true, passionate, victorious, successful connection? So somebody needs to decide here which path to choose with the Two of Wands, which direction to go in. 
Wow. Especially with the Virgo Hermit energy right in the middle is doing that really deep, deep thinking and assessing because you see he's looking over this whole situation. So now we have the Princess of Wands. So this is communication, the Page of Wands. So that's the communication coming in, going out, coming in. Queen of Wands being very fiery, passionate, knowing what you want. Somebody's going to know exactly what they want. They're very fiery, passionate about it, and they're ready to communicate that. And they're going to be very, going to stand their ground, be very fiery and passionate about their choice, about who their true Two of Cups is, who I'm releasing, who I'm not releasing, who I'm moving towards, the decision I'm making after a time of refusing to make that decision. What else for the possible outcome? But having stress, worry, fear, anxiety on this decision, though, um, as you're making it, thinking, contemplating, assessing, whatever here, having stress, worry, fear, anxiety over the whole situation, but finally getting in the power of like the king or queen of wands, doesn't matter, and then knowing exactly what you want, picking up that wand and going after your got the sun twice here, what your total ha happiness would be. So someone here has to choose one over the other and make a decision and then communicate that to the other person that I'm releasing this one and I'm going for this one. So, <laughs> wow. So let's see what is on the bottom here. Wheel of Fortune. Some, some, so something divinely guided, fate, destiny, divine timing, something going in a better direction. So, unfortunately, whatever happened here was fate, destiny, something meant to be. It was either to get you unstuck out of a situation you were stuck in and moving you towards your true soulmate. And, yeah, having to make that final decision, judgment call, having forgiveness kind of energy, fighting for what you want with the nine of wands to your total happiness, success, victory with the sun. And I had just said sun over here, sun over here. And now here's the sun confirming that. What will bring you the most happiness, joy, and success, growth, expansion, everything, happy home and family with the sun. Knowing you need ten of swords, need to end something before you can move on to your total happiness and fighting for it, making that judgment call, something divinely guided for you. So uh, let's see, we have Leo, we have Scorpio, we have Sagittarius, we have uh, Scorpio there, we have Cancer or Pisces, we have Virgo Taurus Capricorn, we have Leo Sag Aries, we have Virgo, we have um, Libra Gemini Aquarius. Uh, let's see, we have Aries Leo Sag. So those are the energies I see. Wow, so somebody who needs to make a major decision here of which person they're choosing and releasing the other person. But I do feel like somebody found out secrets about the other person having somebody else anyway. So now, need, and the other person may not be saying anything. It could be you not saying that you know your person. You, you went and kind of spied on them and found them in the arms of somebody else, but you're not saying anything about it. And now you're trying to decide what to do about this. Tell them they either need to release that person or uh, you're releasing them or vice versa. However it resonates for you. Or it could be you in that situation. Maybe they caught you with somebody else. And they're not saying anything. And you're trying to decide what to do in the situation. And it could be that maybe even <laughs> you both know, like maybe you found out, the other person found out, but nobody's saying anything. Not saying, well, I know and I know. You know what I mean? Like the other person knows about the other person, but nobody's saying anything that, you know, one person could be thinking the other person doesn't know, but they do. It's like you both know, but nobody says anything and thinks the other person doesn't know. So it's, wow, complicated here. So, wow, okay. So let's get some extra messages here for you, Capricorn. Capricorn, what kind of mess are you in, Capricorn? This may not be for everybody, so please remember that. 
But I do ask Capricorn, if you're new, you like my style, how I read, please feel free to check out my channel and you can like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You'll get about five readings a month. So let's see. Capricorn. Some extra messages for... Oh, it's too many. For Capricorn. Hit this deck, please. Recovery. Yeah. Somebody's recovering uh, over something here. Somebody will have to recover over this whole situation. Again, that's like that Virgo energy of spending that time alone. And you see somebody behind them in the shadows. And it does look like an angel. So we have yes in a year from now. This could have been going on for a year. Wow, that's like yes. This has been going on for a year. Nobody's saying anything. Nobody's doing anything. No one's making the decisions or having that communication they need to have. Wow. But then it also says a year from now, but I mean, however that resonates for you. Let's see if we get one more for you, Capricorn. No. <laughs> we got yes and no. So yeah, needing to make a decision. I feel refusing to see. And then um, I thought we had another card here of like the two of ones. It's about making decisions for the future, but the two of swords is being indecisive. So it's like, yes, no, yes, no. So this has been going on for like a year and nobody's saying anything. It's like, do they? No, no, I don't think so. Well, maybe they do. So it's like back and forth. Wow. <laughs> and then we have, you're ready. So yeah, some of you are ready here to make this choice to move on from a situation or release somebody. So you, whatever your situation is, somebody is ready here to make the decision they need to make, release the person they need to release, have that open communication about the whole situation and moving on from this getting over fear and stress here you're ready for it to passionately go after what you truly desire oh okay capricorn so best of luck to you i'm sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light